You got me on my knees, you're taking all my cheese Nobody's got a job Genetic corn on the cob The politician protect industry They don't do shit for you or me Like home. There's no place like home. I want to go home. I want to go home. What do you want? I want to go home. <laughs> Dorothy, I'm sorry, I must tell you, darling, you are never going home. What? Who are you? What? What? Why? Because, Dorothy, you are a victim of predatory lending. Pardon? I said, no! Oh, why, that's what I thought you said. But I don't even own anything. Well, Dorothy, darling, if it's not you, it's your landlord. Oh, you mean Goldstein, Gold Farm, Martinez, or Swat and Fong? Yes. They got taken? Yes. Oh, I used to love the sweet smell of samosas, dumplings, and and what else? Kreplock. Kreplock. Goodbye, Kreplock. Hello, misery. Dorothy, yes, I know you love that so. I'm so sorry. They're out and so are you. But why? Well, let me explain. The market ran out of things to sell. They had sold everything real. They had sold everything virtual. Remember the tech bubble burst? Well, then they found the mortgage. 
and Dorothy, oh, they sold like hotcakes, girl. Go on. Well, then they needed more mortgages to sell, of course, and more mortgages. So they went into neighborhoods and they sold these horrible, icky, despicable, horrible, yucky, smelly, bad mortgages to people left, right, left, right, everywhere. Here, take some. Have one. Take one. Have one. Oh, those low-down, dirty, despicable dogs. Puh, puh, puh. Oh, yes, Dorothy, yes. Puh, puh, puh. Well, then, they sold those mortgages to investors who sold them to other investors who sold them to other investors worldwide across the universe and finally the whole thing burst and you girl and so many other people are out of a place to live. Well, well what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Well, I think revolution is good. Okay. Overturn the whole system. Oh, yeah. But those words ring so hollow these days. So how about starting with this? Uh, demand that the people who are in foreclosure can renegotiate their loans at a reasonable rent. How about that? Right on. How about this? Demand that housing that's been foreclosed become uh, the state's housing and they make it into affordable housing for the people. How about that? That's what I'm talking about. Don't you think? How about this? Let's insist that they repeal the legislation that encouraged all this predatory lending. That's what I'm talking about. There you go, Dorothy. And now for Toto's sake, vote for Barack McCain will just be the death of us. Oh, yeah. I will vote, vote for Barack. Can you do it? And I will use my star power to start a revolution. Yes, Dorothy. And I'm off to find the truth. Go ahead, Dorothy. But Dorothy, yes. be careful. What? Watch out for points. Points. Watch out for balloons, dangerous balloons. Balloons. Dorothy, watch out for hidden costs. Hidden costs. Go, Dorothy. Go. Change the world. <laughs> Please give a warm a Fort Green Park welcome to none other than the Liberty Sisters. Sisters, my name is Sybil, Sybil Liberty. And I'm Statua, Statua Liberty. I'm Liberty, Liberty Bell. And like I said, together we make the Liberty Sisters. You know, not everybody's feeling so good these days. No. Who isn't feeling good? Well, George Bush. You know, he's so low in the polls. How low is he? Well, sister. The only thing he's above is the law! A recent poll, a recent poll says that 66% of the population of the United States of America thinks that President Bush has done a bad job with the war in Iraq. Do they, sister? Yes, well, the other 44% think Adam and Eve wrote a dinosaur to church. That's what they think. Hey, sister. Yes. President Bush is so smart. How smart is he, sister? He he wants to, to fight the global warming. Global warming? Yeah, he's going to send 20,000 troops to the sun. find the truth and start a revolution! Dorothy, you're on a journey? That's right. We're on a journey too! 
What? We're gigging our way to the particle accelerator in Sign. Ooh. You know, they just turned it on today, and we want to be did. there when the protons hit. Yeah, do you know what a particle accelerator does? Not really. Well, it takes two little protons, and it smashes them together real hard and fast. Yeah, Dorothy. Wow. They got feminos. They got neutrinos. neutrinos. They got quarks. They got top quarks, bottom quarks. Tops and bottoms. They're going to be smashing. Yeah, lunes, martes, mercules. They might even have Jueves, that too, Dorothy. Maybe and maybe even, maybe even a Higgs boson. <gasps> The God Particle! Yeah. On the other hand, maybe it'll create a big black hole and the whole world will disappear into it. Who knows? But I don't think so. Do you want to come? Yes! Can you juggle? Can you juggle? I don't know! Exploitation, predatory landing. It's not the first time, folks. Remember sharecropping? Sharecropping replaced the slave economy. Ex slaves discovered, though they might be free, they never get free from that. They would just keep owing and owing and owing. Plantation owners gave each family of ex slaves a pot of land, supp supplies, a, ca a cabin, and seeds on credit with quite high interest rates. When harvest time came around, folks found they never came out ahead. They always owed more than they got paid for the half of the crop. So they start the next year already in debt, in the next, in the next. And it was like, hey, 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 what's going on there? Excuse me, I'm looking for a big glass building. It's not here. Yes, it is. I've seen them on 10th Avenue. They're everywhere. No, sit down. <laughs> sit down. I'm in the middle of something right here. Security. Somebody, anybody, come, come with me. Hello, hello. Let me get back to the story. So in the 1920s and 30s, many of these families said goodbye to sharecropping and moved north to the cities. But there they faced more credit shenanigans, and this time it was called redlining. In 1934, Roosevelt's New Deal government created the Home Owners Loan Corporation, which was set up to help families whose homes were threatened by widespread bank collapses during the Great Depression. Remember the stock market crash and the Great Dust Bowl? But unfortunately, not everybody benefited. Using racial criteria, 
the government, the corporation created these color-coded maps of American cities. This one's based on Philadelphia. And they um, used racial criteria to determine lending and insurance risks. Wealthy, mostly white neighborhoods were outlined in green, and poor and mostly black neighborhoods were outlined in red. And following the government's lead, banks and insurance companies refused to give mortgages to the families that fell inside these lines. And without that money, there wasn't the kind of necessary development and investment in those neighborhoods. And instead, it... Excuse me. I'm sorry, I haven't seen the health and wealth condo. You need to sit down. In the middle of the show. The immigrant communities, but you know, without the people and the noise. You guys really need to sit down. It has a private bus service, restaurant, refrigerators, and a lobby. Please sit down. We're trying to get on with our show. Until 1968, that the government outlawed redlining and created a program designed to help low-income people secure mortgages and get housing. Um, but that, you know, of course, a good thing goes bad when greedy profiteering rings find there's money in poverty, and that's where we get the housing and urban development scandals. Remember the HUD scandals of the 70s? No, you guys were, were not even a twinkle in your parents' eyes yet. I'm going to tell you how it worked. Here we have greedy, profiteering real estate guy. He finds a house that's totally shoddy and run down. It's got faulty um, electricity, could start a fire at any time, flooding constantly with the plumbing. The roof is falling in, the foundation is sinking, the whole thing's falling. He decides to refurbish it, and for him, that means paint job. He goes to his friend in the mortgage industry who is in on the deal. They bribe the Federal Housing Authority to appraise it up and they appraise it up like gazillion percent. So there they've got their old lemon appraised high, sour on the inside, they put it for sale. Along comes unsuspecting family. It's finally time we buy a house, dear. Yes, let's go looking. That one's okay, that one's okay. I don't know about that one. Not enough bedrooms for the kids, no yard for the dog. Look, it's gorgeous, let's buy it. And they take the house. They don't know the wiring's going crazy. They don't know the plumbing is falling apart. They don't know that the foundation is crumbling and the whole house is about to collapse. They don't know that, so they, they end up with no house. The mortgage broker's got the money. The government's out of the money. Excuse me. I know you should sit down. I don't know where there's a foreclosure sale. Yeah, they said foreclosure. Yeah, that's what happened to me, foreclosure. You want to buy my house? It's my house. You can't buy my She's still living in it. That house should become affordable if it goes into foreclosure anyway. Now get out of That's right. That's right. What you say?
Child Artist Library Defense Fund meetings. Yeah. What have you been up to? Well, since the end of the film series, I, I played Ikus naked and I broke my glasses. Now I'm just searching minerals for meaning. What about you? Well, honey, I'm on a journey to find the truth and start a revolution! Cool! That's right, I met up with the beautiful Liberty, Liberty Sisters, and now we're trying to find the particle accelerator. I think they're just across those big mountains there, but I don't think I can get across. Can you help me, Harry? Yeah, I can cross the mountains with you, but I need to go to the library first and return some books. It's okay with you? Of course, let's do it! Let's go!
me rap Cause Mr. Enron on crack You got me all on my knees, you're taking all my cheese Nobody's got a job You need a corn on the cob The politician protected the street They don't do shit for you and me But tales of the new depression why must you hold us down? Our freedoms and our rights are slowly being eroded by executive orders and by signing statements. Do you think the government should be able to just march in for a developer and kick you out? You should think that if it can happen here, it can happen to anyone anywhere. This devolution of the American press began in 1988, when Ronald Reagan abolished the Fairness Doctrine. I don't understand why we can't have a little piece of history when everybody else has so much. No more stolen fraudulent elections. This is uh, Freddie's Brooklyn Roundhouse with Cynthia McKinney. As my fellow Brooklynite, Allen Ginsberg said, the soul should never die ungodly in an armed madhouse. Freddie's Brooklyn Roundhouse. Watch the show the corporate media doesn't want you to see. Tuesdays at 8 in Brooklyn, Thursdays at 8.30 in Manhattan, and online all the time at freddysbrooklynroundhouse.org and youtube.com slash Atlantic Yards.